Well, good morning. Uh, it's uh, late January, and I'm out there. Uh, Warner Springs, which is down there, it's uh, an old uh, resort, small resort. And on the back side of that, around the corner, is Anza Borrego. But today we're going to go out to the Indian Flats campground. It's, uh, I guess, technically Anza. And I'm not even sure if it's in Riverside or San Diego. We're on the San Diego side now, but as we get farther uh, to the east, I think we're going to go back into Riverside. So I've never been up here before. So I thought this would be a good time of year to come up here. The weather's been great. It's been in the uh, mid-60s. It's probably 64, something like that right now. It's nice and cool. And uh, it gets really hot out here. So I'm going to enjoy this time of year this, uh, this time. So uh, we're going to be going back about seven miles to the Indian Flats campground. So I'm just going out there to test out my uh, Polish Lavu. Um, basically it's an army poncho shelter and my uh, G-stove uh, heat view hot tent. So that's why I'm out here, just to check it out. It's gonna be the first inaugural burn on my G-stove uh, inside the tent. I've tested it at home, but uh, this will be the first time actually in the Lavu. So anyway, I thought I'd give you a peek at uh, what I'm looking at. As I'm driving up this road, uh, it looks like it's basically a fire road that they they kind of paved. So it's a little rough, and it's got some hairpin turns on it. It's going to take me a while, I have a feeling. If it's uh, seven miles, it's probably going to take me an hour at the rate I'm going. But I've got nothing else to do. I'm off all day, and I'm uh, it's only about 11.30, so I'll, I probably won't get there till 12.30. But I'm okay with that. i got all day. Well, as you drive into the campground, you have a pretty good view of the mountains. I guess it'd be to the east, I guess it's east, northeast from here. So I'm just going to do a little short walk around the campground, see what I see. There's nobody here but me. Craig, that was a uh, Camp next to me, he went for a little drive. He just pulled in, so at least there's somebody now to watch our sights. Even though there's nobody here, so I'm just gonna cruise around. I just uh flushed a little bevy of quail, a little flock of quail, so Let's see if I can find any wildlife here today. That's my Polish Lavu, and with that is my G-Stove heat view that's inside. Now, I've got a Coleman, old vintage Coleman oven sitting on top because I'm going to do a pizza tonight. But uh, what I'm going to do is initially I'm going to take the, the oven off. I'm going to light the stove, uh, see how the tent protector that I made. Uh, this is just some... Uh, corrugated aluminum that's supposed to keep the pipe heat from radiating out into the tent around the edge. So we'll see if that works. I'll give it a shot. I'm going to be sleeping here tonight. Uh, there's like 14, 15 campsites here. It's not really a regular campground. It's sort of a primitive camp. Um, it doesn't have any water. It does have bathrooms, has picnic tables, and it has a, well, kind of kind of has a, a grill. It's kind of bent halfway to the ground, but um, does have a fire pit. I'm prepared for the night. I've got my firewood here. Some of it was left from another camper, and I have my own firewood over there that I brought from home. Um, so I'll probably do a little fire. I'll sit with a fire later tonight, maybe heat some water up. I don't know, make some tea or coffee or something. But uh, the main purpose for being out here is to test out the Polish Lavu and the uh, the G-Stove. I'm really excited about the G-Stove. I've been looking forward to this G-Stove for six months. I bought it a while back. It took forever to get here, and then when I got it, it was damaged. came all the way from Nova Scotia. So, anyway, I've done a couple of test fires in it. It works great. And I've got the spark arrestor on the top because this is a really 
dry environment out here. I don't anticipate any problems, but you know, I might as well be safe. I've got it, I might as well use it. And uh, of the 14 or so campsites here, the only site that's occupied besides mine is that one right there, right next to me. Uh, the guy's name is Greg, he lives uh, in Rainbow. He drove down here. He's gonna have a big party coming over tomorrow, but tonight he's gonna be here by himself. So it's just me and Greg, I guess, in the campground. So we'll see how things go tonight. I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be nice and chilly tonight. It's gonna get down to about 30, I imagine, 32 or so. Uh, I'm gonna heat the tent with the G-stove until I go to sleep and then before I go to bed I'm gonna you know make sure the stove is out because I don't want the risk of carbon monoxide poisoning which I don't really think is an issue because I've got a gap all around the bottom of the lavu um, so I've got a good airflow but uh, this is a nice quiet campground I wouldn't doubt if a mountain lion or deer come down here later on tonight because nobody's here and this is about uh, seven miles back on this remote road so not too many people come here and it's a Thursday it's not a weekend so uh, it's gonna be really quiet here tonight now in fact I'll be the only one making noise tonight but anyway looking forward to it uh, hopefully we'll see some wildlife later on haven't seen any snakes so far but I know they're here anyway I'll check back in, in a little bit and see how we're doing well I've got some time to kill before I uh, start uh, lighting the G stove and uh, Start making dinner so since I chopped some chopped some kindling with my uh, Husqvarna axe um, it's a great great little hand hatchet uh, it's a little heavy at the head end but uh, it's a little thick toward the top but it's great for kindling uh, it's a great pack axe and uh, because it's Swedish it's got that great Swedish steel on it and I like to keep it sharp uh, I've already uh, Spent a few minutes on it uh, with the Lansky Puck, but since I've got nothing else to do, I gotta wait for the sun to get a little lower on the rise, and I just thought, well, I'll, uh, I'll keep at it. It's not quite shaving sharp. I do have a strop. I don't know if I'll get to that point. I don't think I'm gonna need it for what I'm doing with it, but uh, you know, I got time to kill, so I might as well get to it. You never used a Lansky Puck. The key is to keep the angle. I'm on the uh, on the the more mellow side. I'm not on the coarse side. I'm on the fine grit side. But I'm just doing little circles, and I'm trying to maintain this angle. If you mess up the angle, it changes uh, the outlook of your axe or your hatchet. So you have to make sure you do each side equally. It's actually kind of soothing. There's nothing else going on. I have the campground to myself. Got nothing else to do, so might as well put my time to good use. A sharp axe is a safe axe. So right now, it's not quite shaving sharp, but uh, it's close. sharp enough for what I'm doing it. Well I've got the Lavu set up and I've got my uh, pure hen lantern going. And inside here I've got the G stove going. I've got my Coleman oven Monitor's not moving though, so I know it's getting hot, so I don't know. I'll have to check on that. But in the meantime, looking at the gorgeous glow coming off the G stove. Turn off the light here so you can get a little better look. There you go. Well, it's really starting to smell like a pizza now. It looked like a pizza.
Well, it's definitely hot. Hard part is going to be getting it out of here. I have my little grate here. And this. And what do you think? Does it need a little more browning maybe? I don't know. It's definitely, cheese is definitely melted. It's definitely hot. Maybe if I just put it on the grate by itself, without the foil, maybe that'll make a difference. But I gotta eat this piece because I can't put it down. Hmm. I'm drooling. Here, let's try this. Make a pizza oven out of this thing. Can you see that? Looks pretty good. All right. Let's give it a few more minutes. Well, good morning. I've got the G stove going here this morning. And, uh, I've got some water on the kettle. I'm going to make some uh, coffee this morning with the AeroPress. It wasn't too bad last night. Uh, I tossed and turned a little bit. Had to go up and go to the bathroom once, which wasn't too bad. But, uh, you know, I didn't have the stove on last night. I turned it off before I went to bed. But uh, it was pretty windy last night. The wind was really blowing. Uh, I have my trash. Uh, some that's mine and some that I gathered from other inconsiderate campers that I collected and I put it in a trash bag and I tied it off to the grill outside and it was blowing all night rattling around. So that kept me awake a little bit. But other than that I slept pretty good. So this morning I'm going to heat up some coffee and then uh, here in a little bit I'll uh, I'll get the stove going one more time and I'll uh, I'll cook some breakfast. <laughs> 